Welcome back to The Haunted Haven. I'm so glad to see you here again today. If this is your first time in The Haunted Haven, welcome to you. I am so glad you're here. If you are into candles, candle reviews, Halloween, fall, please consider joining The Haven, subscribing to the channel. Today, we are doing part two of our South of Sanity. SOS review. We are going for the real deal. We're going for the hard, the intense, the undeniably spooky <laughs> Halloween scents. The ones that you just, you couldn't twist it any other way. They've got to go with Halloween. So that's what we're doing today. If you haven't seen part one of South of Sanity, I do recommend that you see it, but just in case, I'll give you a quick overview. South of Sanity is run by Virgil. He's got a YouTube channel called Virgil Loves Halloween. Virgil started his own spooky candle company and has sent me some things to work with, some things to review. I couldn't be happier. They're fantastic. So now that you're all caught up, Let's go, let's look at some of Virgil's candles. I do have a discount code for you, it's- The discount code is now Haven1031. We did such a good job last time, guys, of filling up Virgil's orders that he had to amend the discount code. So it is no longer Haven20, it is Haven1031. And here I am, I'm about to laugh at something that no longer makes sense within the context of this video. <laughs> But at any rate, yeah, I really do hope that you try some of these candles because they're so good, they're so good. Anyway, don't take my word for it, or do take my word for it because you're watching my review, but let's go over the set notes and that way at least you get a little bit of an idea of why I am so excited. There's no on-ramp for these, they're just, they're just one after the other. Straight up Halloween freaking goodness. 1031, let's get the scent notes for 1031. An elegantly haunting blend of black licorice and bubble gum. Oh! Bubblegum, black licorice, weird. Oh my God, okay, very strange. Black licorice candy is what I get and I can't remember exactly what this is, but there's some black licorice candy from my childhood that is being like binged in my brain right now when I smell this. Oh, this is interesting and I like it. It's so weird, so unique, and I do enjoy it. I will say if you're not a fan of licorice candy, there's like licorice in candles that it can be dark and it can feel like different. This is licorice candy. So if you're not a licorice candy fan, don't do this. But the combination with the bubble gum, I find it very interesting. I cannot wait to actually light this one up. Very unique. Good smelling, just weird. Obviously, very strange. Next one up is pumpkin graham cracker. Now, I do remember Virgil saying about this one that he wanted one that was a pumpkin scent, but not pumpkin spice. We have a pleasantly gourmand blend of pumpkin, caramel, maple, and graham cracker. Graham crocker. Not a pumpkin spice scent, more of a sweet and savory blend. Let's take a look to you. Sweet and savory. I get like a waffle type thing. Pumpkin graham cracker, yeah. I think that does exactly what it says it's doing. That pretty much smells like a pumpkin graham cracker. This is a, absolutely a gourmand scent, so that is going to make you hungry. <laughs> but yeah, if you're somebody who likes a gourmand, that's totally up your alley. Really delicious. Delicioso, I would say. All right, let's go next. Dia de los muertos. A soothing and peaceful blend of dark amber, smoky lavender, and black myrrh. Wow, beautiful. Myrrh, amber, this is gonna be very spiritual. This is giving me Goose Creek Cauldrons, or sorry, Goose Creek Candles Witch's Cauldron vibes. And I know Virgil will like that because that is one of his favorites. Does this have patchouli? No. Amber, smoky lavender, and black myrrh, but there's something going on about this that has that very meditative quality. Wow. Oh my God. If you are somebody who likes that, like I love incense scents. I like that dark feeling. I like that spiritual feeling. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Grounding, calming. This is beautiful. I love this. I can't wait to burn this. The next one is October with the skeleton giving us a finger and simultaneously poking his own eye out. Whee! Very nostalgic, a warming mix of baked apples, spice, caramel, and chocolate. So surprisingly gourmandy. I was not expecting that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is, oh yeah, interesting. This is going to be you at the 
uh, farm stand at the, the pumpkin patch with a hot apple cider in one hand and like a donut or like a pumpkin pastry or something in the other hand and like having those gourmandy things mixed together with the fall air like that's I get that spice, that apple, that caramel, the sweetness. Wowzer, wowzer. Yeah, I was not expecting that from this label, but if you are a gourmand fan, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good for you. Next one we have is Werewolf. Werewolf is rather spooky looking. A very dark and mysterious blend of musk and woods. So, musk and woods. That sounds right, animal animal and uh, woodsy. Interesting, that is a very warming feeling. I'm almost getting, uh, yeah, more of that animal and musk than I am the woods in this one. I'm not getting too much of like the chill. Warming, mysterious smell is what I would say for this one. The next one is very creepy indeed. It's All Hallows Eve with these like vintage children in their uh, Halloween costumes. That's definitely not comforting. All right, this is a spooky and nostalgic blend of black licorice, root beer, cinnamon, and vanilla. I get the root beer up front really, really hard. And the licorice, actually. The more I stick my nose in this candle, the more I'm liking it. At first I was like, oof, I don't know if this is for me, but I am... It's not a dark, it's not a dark candle for me. It's not a dark candle. It has more of an uplifting candy scent. It's like sweet, sugary, not dark. So um, I think that that might have to do with the kind of old timey candy type deal thing. Kids running about in the neighborhoods getting old timey candies when they would have dressed up in such a costume as this one. Uh, so that's my hypothesis on where this idea comes from. This is my favorite clamshell. Best for last, pumpkin fire. And it is a pumpkin and fire scent. And if that's not the most Halloween thing that someone could have made, I don't know what is. So let's get the scent notes. A wonderfully dark and spooky blend of pumpkin, smoky wood, and oud. From what I can remember about this candle, it's perfect. It's as dang near to perfect as I think one Halloween candle can get. Yep, perfect, absolutely perfect. It is woody and pumpkin-y <laughs> and like not sweet. It's not pumpkin spice. It's just, oh, it's like incense-y and woody, smoky. It's smoky. It's woody. It's pumpkin-y. This is my favorite thing. This, this is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> this, if you're into like a smoky pumpkin woodsy scent, just please do me a favor and get this. Like it is so good. It's so good. I want to take a bath in this. I can't just, I mean, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but oh my God, this one, my recommendation above them all. All right. And this one is going to be pumpkin blueberry pancakes, a wonderful blend of spiced pumpkin, blueberries and pancakes. From what I remember, this one is kind of straightforward gourmandy scent, but let's take a look. Yep. Yeah. The, the, it's a gourmandy, what I would consider to be a false scent because it has that like pumpkin-y pastry type of thing. Yeah, it's lovely. If you like a gourmand scent, this is delicious. Really, really good. This is Sawin, and I've given this two burns and I love it. The X wicks here are beautiful, really nice burning. They soot less. The burn quality is fantastic. And Virgil uses that because it's the best. A hauntingly autumn blend of fresh picked apples, patchouli, orange peel, clove, and a touch of smoke. From what I remember, this candle is a very kind of like quintessential fall feeling candle. Very, very nicely executed. Yeah, I'm really getting the patchouli and the smoke with this one. And this filled up my room, like this little candle filled up my bedroom. I'm getting a little bit of like, yeah, that orange and that clove, but I think that the, the patchouli and the smoke are the ones that come out the most for me. This is a very, another gorgeous, beautiful fall scent. If you saw anything here that you enjoy, that you think you might want to try, please head on over to South of Sanity. Use the Haven 1031. Discount code Ghost Show Virgil some love on his channel. Go follow him on Instagram. This is just a candle maker that I'm really excited about. I would love to see him succeed. I would love to see some of you guys over there. I hope that you've enjoyed your stay in the Haven today. If this is your first time and you enjoyed the content, please do consider subscribing, liking the video. That all helps me to grow. I appreciate you and I hope to see you back here soon. All right, bye.